The next video from my dad's old campfire cooking made easy is Cornish game hens. The ladies will love it. Well, look what I found. Four rock Cornish game hens already cleaned and plucked. I found them out in the wild. You know, that's the hard part. This cooking's easy, finding these babies. Let me tell you a little bit about these rock Cornish game hens. This is, a, uh, this is an American innovation. Uh, they were bred over here. These are little hybrid chickens, and uh, they're bred for tenderness and taste. And one of these little babies will make a regular chicken taste like a buzzard. So you want to try one of these. They're really good. Uh, I know what you're thinking. You think, well, he's gone gourmet on us. Well, yes and no. Yes, in that uh, this recipe is going to be rock Cornish game hen stuffed with herb dressing and bathe in a chicken and onion gravy in a Dutch oven. Now that, in a way, yeah, the, the finished product of this could be served in the Tour de Jean in Paris, France, and with a lot of oohs and ahs. But no, in that what we have here is only about uh, four or five ingredients. We're gonna throw it together in about uh, three or four minutes, and that disqualifies it as gourmet. So, uh, this is as close as we're going to get to gourmet. Let me get, get started here. We're going to start by taking the Cornish game hens, and we're cheating a little bit. As I said, cheating is permissible out here. And we're going to use, this is regular uh, Pepperidge Farm or stovetop. This is regular commercial stuffing. All you add is a little butter and water. And it's good. You don't need to, uh, you don't need to go all the way with this thing here and, and start from scratch. Uh, what we always do, you're also allowed to lie a little bit. These little white lies. And you're allowed to tell everybody that you uh, cooked this from scratch. And uh, it's not such a bad lie. And if you worry about it, why well, you need to scratch the box or something. Maybe that'll make you feel better. Get over your guilt. Now, we're going to put these. We got them stuffed. And I'm going to put them in the Dutch oven. Well, let me hold it just a minute. Let me put this soup in here first. Now this is, this is cream of chicken soup. And what we do, this is gonna make the gravy. And we're gonna cover this. And we're gonna put the chickens right on top of this gravy soup. All right, now we're gonna put the stuffed chickens tail to tail. That's the way chickens normally set, <laughs> tail to tail. All right, ooh, that's starting to look good already. Now, we're gonna put, this is dried onion soup. This, you can use this everywhere. This, is, this really adds a good flavor to the chicken and mostly to the gravy. And we just sprinkle that on top. I'm gonna use a little seasoning oil because this has got uh, mostly garlic, garlic and onion and uh, Garlic never hurt a recipe. Okay, sliced mushroom. Use the canned sliced mushrooms. I'm gonna sprinkle that on the top there. Ooh. Okay. Don't don't use uh, fresh mushrooms because they're a little too pungent for uh, for Cornish game hens. Now pimento. This is a little jar of pimento, and this gives it a little flavor and a lot of color. Makes it look pretty. Now, I always squirt a little butter. Just to kind of cover it up. We're gonna cook this for about an hour. I've got some, oh, about medium, about uh, three to four seconds, about medium heat. I'm gonna put it on the medium heat. Okay. And I'm gonna put the lid on. And the beauty about this thing is it is, it is a meal in one. And uh, like some of the other meals, we can get it going and then go hiking or fishing, just goofing off, you know, whatever we want to do. Now, I'm gonna fill this, I'm gonna fill this lid with coals if I can get any. And come back in about an hour. Now, if I wanted to stay away for 
if I wanted to stay away for about three hours, it's not going to hurt this recipe. And the reason being, these coals will burn down, and it'll just keep it'll just keep the chickens warm, and uh, won't burn it. Anyway, I'll be back in about an hour. I'm gonna do a little hiking and mess around. I'm sure glad of one thing. My cooking's a lot better than my fishing. I'd starve to death. I hadn't been able to catch anything all day. But the whole time I was out there, these little Cornish game hens were stewing and baking nice golden brown. Oh, looky there. Mercy me. Gosh, that looks good. You know, the best thing about these things is the way they look. Uh, Good food, good looking food just seems to taste better. That's uh, something psychological about it. Let me get one of these little Cornish game hens out. Oh boy, look at that. Look at that, isn't that pretty? What you need to do is parade your, parade your camper friends by this, kind of sitting in the Dutch oven all golden brown and everything. Let me get a spoon here and put some. And uh, believe me, that will stimulate the palate. I'm gonna put some of this chicken and onion gravy on it. Oh gosh, that looks good. Mm. Anyway, this is one I want you to try. Uh, rock Cornish game hens stuffed with herb stuffing and bathed in chicken and onion gravy. Uh, all it needs is a salad and uh, probably a three-year-old uh, Chardonnay white wine and a little time. And believe me, this is a meal fit for royalty. Try this one.